welcome to my science laboratory, where I start all of my seedlings for my main garden, my kitchen garden, and also my farm stand. In this system, I can start 700 seedlings at a time, which equals $1,400 worth of sales on my farm stand. Uh-huh. Let me give you just a whole overview of the system. It looks like it could be pretty daunting, but everything is available at your local hardware store or garden sensor. I have just a basic out of the box metal shelving unit. I've got fluorescent light fixtures here. The flow tubes I have in here are balanced for daylight. Now this is very important. If you're gonna start your own seed starting system like this, you wanna make sure that the flow tubes are balanced for daylight. I have these plastic bins that I got at the container store. Yay me, I had a reason to go to the container store. I love that place. I've got clear PEX tubing and also these clamps. I also have an inch of pea gravel on the bottom of these plastic bins for drainage. And then I have my fish tank here, which is a 55 gallon fish tank. Now in this fish tank, I've got a pump and that pump is attached to a T quick connect system. And then the PEX tubing comes out of that and goes all the way up to the top bin here. And let me also show you one more thing. It has a valve attached to it. And this valve allows me to control the flow of the water and whether I want it to flow or not. So it's got an on and off switch to it. And I've customized each of these plastic bins and drilled holes in it. And I have the PEX tubing going all the way across to the end of the bin. Now I'm putting it all the way across to the end of the bin because I want an even disbursement of water throughout my seedlings. If you've never tried PEX tubing, let me show you what it is. It's really simple. You would think you have to be a plumber to know this stuff, but you really don't. It's called a quick connect for a reason. Now this is that valve that I just showed you. And I've got the PEX tubing here and you wanna make sure that when you cut it, it's cut flush so that there are no jagged edges and that makes it watertight. Then guess what you do? That's it. That's all you do. It's very simple. You don't need any other tools. And this is pretty much watertight. Now, if it does start to release water, what you want to do is you want to use some silicon clear goop. That's what it's called. It's actually called goop. Now, this whole system I have here is completely automated. And I've got the lighting on a timer. And the timer is, comes on at 7 o'clock in the morning and it turns off at seven o'clock at night because I want the lights to be on for 12 hours throughout the whole day. The water is also on a timer and that comes on at 7 a.m. and shuts off at 8 a.m. I only have it running for one hour. With a 55 gallon tank, what that means is the water in the tank will circulate through the system twice in that one hour. Mm, I hear it bubbling and gurgling and doing its thing. Now, once you set up this system, yes, it's automated, but you want to make sure that you are checking it periodically. You want to check it for leaks. You want to make sure that the lights and the timers are functioning and your electrical is still functioning. And I have this here uh, in an area that has a concrete floor. So if there are any leaks, there's no problem. This is a perfect system for a garage or a basement, somewhere where if water does get on the floor, it's okay. You don't want to put this in an area that has carpeting that you care about because it might be ruined pretty quickly. So I've just gone and given you an overview of this awesome automated system. Now I'm going to start some seeds. The first thing I'm going to start is lemongrass seeds. The next seed I'm gonna start are Parisian pickling cucumbers. So I've got these heirloom fennel seeds here. Sweet peppers that I'm gonna start right now. The next seed I'm gonna start is Strata di Italia, which is a summer squash. Black Aztec corn is actually black. 
you guys out there like zucchini? And it's been about a week since I started those seedlings with you, and look at them. They are thriving, they've sprouted. My corn over here is doing really well, and it's pretty much basically ready to go in the garden. Unfortunately, it's raining today, so it's gonna have to stay in here for a little bit longer. As for the rest of my seedlings, they haven't sprouted yet, so I'm gonna give them a little bit more time and check back in with them later. I'm Patty Moreno, The Garden Girl. Thanks for watching.